Austin and Kenny spelling uh, Miles is, do you kind of go into a game with an idea of like how you're going to use them when Boston might come in, or is that kind of a feel as the game's going on? Uh, it's a both and. Uh, there's a feel for it, and then also you know Jamal Singleton, our running back coach, does a hell of a job of rotating those guys in and out. Uh, credit to him and the work he's done with those backs. Uh, we feel good, like I said, with all three of those guys, and they're doing a really nice job right now. Monday was the highest percentage of 11 personnel in your time here. What was the reason for that? Uh, you know, we went a little tempo there, and it, it worked out well for us, uh, obviously, in the first half. Um, you know, but we can do it out of different, you know, personnel groups, and it just happened to be that that week. What goes into that decision, Shane, the tempo to start the game? Uh, is that something you saw in Minnesota? Is that something you just wanted to do yourself? Yeah, I mean, we always feel that, you know, sometimes that gives you an advantage, obviously, when you do that. Uh, and it can be different types of it, you know. You can be in it all the time. Sometimes you can mix it up. And it's week by week uh, going into those things and how we do that. So uh, it was good for us uh, on Monday night. How have you seen Dallas take ownership of that top tight end role? He's been tremendous. Um, shoot, he led the team in receiving yards. I think he had five for 82. Uh, he continues to grow every single week. Uh, he's so strong and powerful. Uh, he makes a ton of plays. He was awesome in the run game. Um, everything he does every day in practice, uh, it shows up on Mondays and Sundays. Um, and he's continuing to be a better player every single day. A credit to him, uh, a credit to Jason Michael, our tight end coach, uh, for pre preparing him every week. Uh, he's been awesome. So you were here for Miles' first first couple of years, obviously, but you know he he had a lot of. Um, he ran differently back then, and you know he he's really cut down his number of negative runs. Mm -hmm. um, what do you see from him as far as kind of being decisive with the ball in his hands, not dancing around and, and hitting the hole, um, and, and just doing his assignment? Yeah, no, he's been tremendous. Um, you know, the offensive line it starts up front with an offensive line, uh, but his patience, his vision uh, to hit it and get those yards. You know, when it's tight, sometimes it's tight in there. The line of scrimmage. Uh, he does a nice job of just sticking his foot in the ground and getting through those those voids. And it might be, you know, ugly an ugly two or three yards, but it's not a negative run. Um, and he's doing a nice job, and we've got to continue to do that. Some of the throws that, that Jalen made on Monday night, um, I mean, you've seen him now for two years. Like, would you say he played his best game against the Vikings? And, you know, does any of what he's doing kind of surprise you? No, I, it doesn't surprise me at all what he's doing. Uh, he's continuing to grow every single day. Every game, uh, we saw it in the spring. It carried over in a training camp. And, you know, we're in week two. He knows that, and he played well. Um, and we got to continue to play well uh, individually, collectively, everybody, coaches included. Uh, we got a lot of football ahead of us. Uh, we got a heck of a challenge going into Washington, a division opponent. Uh, we just got to stay, you know, go, got to stay on it, everybody. Uh, and it starts with the head coach. He's done a hell of a job uh, holding everybody accountable. Every day we come into this building, uh, it doesn't matter if we win or lose, like we're, we got the same process. And he, he holds everyone accountable, offense, defense, special teams, and I think guys feed off that. Uh, so it's been good, and we got to continue that trend. What you guys talked about the mechanical changes that Jalen made in the offseason and just the work he did to kind of improve yeah. in that aspect. Is that, has that resulted in him maybe you know, having more velocity on his throws? It seems like the ball might be getting a little bit. Yeah, I think anytime, you know, mechanically, that's the fundamentals, right? Coach talks about fundamentals all the time. And if you work on your fundamentals and you work on your craft, you're going to become a better football player. Uh, and, it, and it's showing up. Um, and like I said, we got to continue that. Uh, we got a lot of football ahead of us, but like where he's at, like his mindset. Um, shoot, one play that really stood out to me in the game, it was two minute uh, right there at the end. And we were trying to throw a shot. And we had a check down. He hit Dallas on a check down. He just like was in protection. And he threw Dallas a diagonal and it went for 30. But the decision to see it as fast as he did and get that ball, they all synced out of there. And it was like, here, ball. Like I was, you know, on the sideline seeing it, you know, unfold. And I was like, there's Dallas. Boom. And it was right there. And it went for 30 down the sidelines, which got us into, you know, a good chunk. And then we hit the seam uh, to get points at the end of half. I mean, that was a, a heck of a drive by him, heck of a drive by everybody. Uh, on that two-minute drive. Did he make that play last year? What's that? Do you think Jalen makes that I think play? he makes that play last year, but I think with reps, too, you see it. With anything, as any any position you play, the more you rep it, repetitions, you see more of it. You know, all those guys that have been played for so many years, these quarterbacks have played 10-plus years, they've seen a lot. And when you see a lot, right, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're, your accelerated vision is going to help you uh, on game day. Obviously, you're in a better field for Jalen and your second year working with him. How, do you feel like – you have a better sense of 
kind of how to deploy him, what to call for him, and, and just what he's going to respond to in different situations. Yeah. And how's that no, growth between you happen? Yeah, no, it's great. I mean, the communication, anytime you're around somebody for a long time, right, you get to know him. You get to know what he likes. You get to know what he's good at. Uh, and, and that process started, you know, what, you know, you know, whatever it was last year. And then now we're getting into this season, the off season, like all those communications, those conversations in the QB room on the field in between series. I mean, it just continues to grow and grow. Uh, and then you see great growth from it. Nick said, uh, a little bit, he was a little upset of, at himself for taking the foot off his get the gas. And he said he forced you to take the foot off the gas in the second half. What are those discussions like? With me and him, we, like I said, we have great communication uh, throughout game day, throughout the week. Uh, those things, we talk about those things and we go from there. But Nick and I's relationship is unbelievable. And like I said, he does a great job leading the charge uh, and we go from there. What's your personal background with Tempo? With Tempo? Well, I did, I did a good chunk of it uh, in LA in 20 uh, with Herbert. Um, I think we led the league in plays uh, I want to say it was like 71 a game. And like I said, I mean, it, it's good. It's good. It's, it's, it is good stuff. Um, but, you know, you use it when you, need, you, when you need to use it and when you feel it can give you an advantage. Um, so that will be a week-by-week -week basis. Like I said, I, I mean, the advantage is sometimes I don't want to get into schematics, you know, <laughs> with all due respect. I, I, I'll just keep that uh, to myself. But uh, it, it gives you some advantages. Tempo is the defense can obviously be back on the field very quickly. Um, are there conversations between you and the defensive coaches about, like, you know, how they're doing and if you guys do go three and out going tempo? Yeah, I, the, the best thing is every week we have, you know, we go through our process, uh, you know, our plan to win, you know, what we want to do offensively, what we want to do defensively. Um, so we're all on the same page on how the, how we want to see the game play out. Does it play out exactly how we want it to? Not, not always. We all know that. But um, we all, we're all on the same page on, you know, what, what we're doing on both sides of the ball and special teams. You guys have the number one ranked offense in the NFL, obviously small sample size. But when you go back to work, uh, you know, what's, what's your message to the guys? That yeah, the, you know, the biggest message uh, is consistency. We got to stay consistent through this thing. We got a lot of football ahead of us. Again, division opponent. Um, you know, you want to win. Your, you know, you want to win. You got to win the division. And uh, we know how important division games are. Uh, and it's all about consistency, week in and week out. And we got to, we got to have that approach every single day. Speaking of Herbert, you, Herbert had some early success when you were there as well too. Now Jalen Hurts is starting to have some success. What do you tell these guys in order to get the most out of them, especially with them being so young? I think it's just trust in the process and everything we do uh, with, you know, the fundamentals and the details of it. And, you know, the biggest thing is just with any position, whether it's quarterback, wide receiver, running back, you want to put your guys, you know, in position to make plays and do what they do best. Um, and that's what we try to do as coaches uh, every single day. And like I said, does it work out exactly how you want it to every time? No, but you got to trust uh, your vision, the whole, you know, the staff's vision, the players you know, buying into your vision uh, as an offensive football team, and you go from there. Good. All right. All right. Thanks, guys.